What do you think will be the key drivers of the Chinese economy in 2024? And what's your business outlook here? When people talk about slowing down, it's still one of the highest growth countries in the world. And uh, I think with the economic growth will continue to grow around 5%, maybe not as high as before, but this is a high growth. And then the insurance sector is growing faster than that. I think it's, the, it's one of the fastest growing uh, insurance markets in the world. We think that uh, premiums will double in 10 years. So we hope we want to be part uh, of that. And if that happens, it will automatically come up the ranks uh, in importance in the Swiss Re overall uh, book of business. Because there's so much more uh, insurance that is needed in China. The insurance penetration is still relatively low. So I think we're going to see growth in, in corporate insurance. We're going to see growth in agriculture insurance. I think natural catastrophe, the protection gap is still very high. So we call it the gap between the economic loss and the insured loss. Uh, that's what we call the gap that is not insured. It's still very high and there's a lot more, lot more to do. So I'm, I'm certainly excited about the opportunities. How would you evaluate the openness of China's reinsurance sector? We were lucky because it was a sector that was opened up completely very early on. So we actually 100% owned, uh, you know, we can, we can work in China for many, many years and the market has been uh, profitable uh, for us overall. So we have profited from very early opening up as a subsector. And now China is the, the fifth largest market for, for Swiss Swiss. It's very significant. It's 1.5 billion of premium of US dollars. You can see the strong interest that uh, many of our global clients have to uh, enter the Chinese market. You can see uh, the share of foreign insurers used to be very small, but it's growing. And you can see uh, interest and investments there. But of course, they will have to face uh, fierce competition from the local players. In which sectors may you consider increased investment in the Chinese market? Uh, on the on the life now side is the this, this aging uh, population prospects. And it's the mortality products, which have gained a lot in, in uh, popularity the last few years. On the uh, property and casualty side, it's, it's this, whole, this whole complex of natural catastrophe, agriculture, green transition that is a bit interlinked, which, uh, where we see the biggest opportunities. On the decarbonization front, I think China has a real potential competitive advantage. You have the technology, you have the production, and you have the will, and you have the decisiveness of the government to uh, implement uh, these, these new structures. Uh, uh, then I think you will be able to produce uh, green products like green steel, green aluminium, etc., which will be needed by all companies in the world. It's going to help the world a lot, I think, because uh, the whole world needs to decarbonize. And as you create that, uh, you're going to create a lot of new assets. So new factories uh, who produce uh, green steel, green aluminium, and all of this uh, needs to be insured and reinsured. And so we try to be close to all of these development and uh, be part of it and, and sustain it and support it.